Our next speaker is Adeniji Victor. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everybody. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, before I continue, I would like to appreciate the organizers of this um, festival for the opportunity to do this. All right, so, um, yeah, um, my name is Victor Adeniji. I'm a designer and front-end developer, and I'll be talking about improving collaboration between designers and developers. Um, this is such a very quick talk, so what I hope to achieve at the end of this talk is to help you become a better collaborator. So, um, quick stuff about me. I'm a designer and front-end developer. I currently work as a front-end engineer at Flutterwave. And um, yeah, I'm very passionate about the intersection of design and development. So you would get me, you would get me like, ah, thank you, really appreciate it. So you, you would find me talking more about design systems, um, UI engineering, UI animations, and everything in between design and development. And I also play the keyboard in my spare time. Okay, so um, why is collaboration between designers and developers important? Yeah, there are many reasons, but yeah, it's for majorly this. Yeah, so you can, as you can see, you can see the wireframe. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah, the mock-up, the high fidelity mock-up looks cool, right? Then when it comes to the final product, the developer decided, not the developer decided, but one way or the other, the product was not looking like the design that was made, right? So the aim of this talk is to help solve that problem to make sure that both the designers and developers involved in the project, they have the same vision, right? Okay, so we've talked about the problem, and here's the solution, how to improve collaboration between designers and developers. Um, the first one, yeah, there are, many, there are many things that could actually be done to improve collaboration, but I'll mention a few, and I hope that by the end of this talk, you'll be able to learn one or two things, right? So the first one is to have a teamwork mentality. Right, have a teamwork mentality. It all starts with the mind. You must understand that as a designer or as a developer, you are not trying to outdo one another, right? But both of you, or you guys, the designers and developers, or the design team and the engineering team are working together to solve a problem. So in case if you are working on a product, it's not to show that I want to kill the developer, like many people say, right? And as a developer, you are not trying to outsmart the designer. Both of you are working together to achieve a a goal and to solve a particular problem. And you must understand that as a designer or as a developer, your role is very key in making sure that the product vision or that the product, the final product, is actually what was intended, right? The second point I would mention is collaboration should start at the beginning of the project. You'll find out many people use the traditional hand of process whereby a designer actually works on a design then it's till the end of the design is going to show the developer that, oh, this is what I worked on, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, a designer can be creative. As a designer, you can be creative. You want to try out stuff and things like that. But you must understand that there are things like technical feasibility. There are time constraints that you must put into place. So you must make sure that the collaboration starts at the beginning of the project. Developers should be involved in every step of the design process. So rather than really doing like a transitional handoff, you should more like collaborate, right? The developer should be involved even in the design process, not just at the end of it. And the third one, this is a bit controversial, right? Many people don't like to hear about this, but the truth is that learning a bit about each other work would actually make you a wonderful collaborator. And this doesn't just work in the design and engineering sphere. It even works in between developers. Have you ever worked with a front-end developer that understands a bit of back-end? Or have you ever worked with a back-end developer that understands a bit of front-end? It makes the collaboration easy because everybody gets to speak the same language. So learning a bit of each other's language will make you a better collaborator. And I'm not saying that developers should actually become designers, except if you want to, or designers should become developers, except if you want to. But learning a bit about each other's work should improve collaboration. And you hear many designers, especially on Twitter, say things like, developers need to learn to design. But it's so saddening that many designers don't care about code. Right? So, but you must understand that both the designer and the developer is equally responsible for making sure that the product, the final product, is actually according to what was planned, right? So everybody is responsible for collaboration, not just the developers. Uh, so um, to further prove this point, how learning a bit of each other's work can improve collaboration between designers and developers. 
So, yeah, I have two points here. You both get to speak each other's language, thereby making communication easier. So, I just want you to do something. If you are a designer, can, I, can you just raise your hand? Designers. Okay, developers. If you are a developer, front-end developer, to be specific. Okay, if you do a bit of both. Okay, just few people. Okay, so imagine as a designer, you get to work with a front-end developer that actually understands the importance of user research. So it, it, it changes everything, right? So when you are trying to explain to the developer that the reason why we are using these components and not that is because based on our user research, we, find out, we found out that this was the user need. The, the, the front-end developer that, that understands a bit of design or the design process has the ability to understand more. Right, so you don't need a translator. Everybody understands. A designer understands the basic of code, while the developer understands the basic of design. It just makes the collaboration more smoother, as everybody gets to speak each other's language. Just imagine a designer saying, "Okay, you're having problem with this. You could use the CSS property to solve this problem." I think that's smooth. And then the last one I'll talk about today: empathizing with your teammates becomes easier as you are able to put yourselves in your teammates' shoes. So as a designer, you are not trying to imagine what it feels like to be a developer. A designer that understands a bit of code actually knows what it feels like to be a developer. The designer might not be able to code a whole page from scratch, but he understands the medium through which the product is being developed, right? So the designer is such is so a designer that understands a bit of code, no matter how big or not it is, a designer that understands a bit of code is much more likely to make developer-informed decisions, right? And and for, for and a developer that understands design, let me just give the scenarios as I close, right? So let's say, and it's, it actually speeds up the development process. For example, let's say you are working on a website, let's say a landing page for a new product that's coming up, right? And you have very short time to, to launch that page, right? So instead of the designer taking out time to, to design for each screen size, for designing like a desktop, tablet, and mobile, it, uh, the designer, because of time, can just develop the desktop, right? And kind of communicate the vision to the developer. A developer that understands designs will be able to take that um, desktop version and try to craft both the mobile version and the tablet version, thereby saving more time and resources. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>